This week in Nerf, the Infinite is available for purchase, Vortex is confirmed, and the store that refuses to close. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Getting right to it, the store that refuses to close, Toys R Us. Every time I think we're done with this story, we're not. It comes back. But this time, it's focused in Canada. Toys R Us Canada looks like it will be staying in business. It was sold to Fairfax Financial Holdings Limited for $300 million, equating to 82 stores and 4,000 4, jobs. 4,000 plus jobs, which is fantastic that all these people are getting to keep their jobs. And uh, that chain is staying available to those in Canada where uh, hopefully things will continue to improve for Toys R Us, but I don't want to spend too much time on this, just talk about just a little bit of things here and there for it. Uh, the sale is not finalized yet, it needs to go through proper um, regulatory stuff, and they are expecting it to close by this quarter though, so relatively quickly. They are, despite being a Canadian company, this, this being focused on Canadian Toys R Us, they are looking into some US stores, though there is no real uh, concrete information or details or which stores or how many, any of that stuff, just kind of an offhand mention of maybe we can if it's possible. But the big thing is Toys R Us Canada is staying afloat for now, it seems. Uh, hopefully, with this purchase, they will not have to uh, worry about the payments and all the, the amount of money they owed and all that stuff that was weighing the company down and keeping them in the past. Maybe this will allow them to kind of update and refresh and become a more competitive entity in the toy market, especially with their big name. But like I said, I don't want to talk about this too much because we have talked about this topic over and over and over. Just wanted to share that relevant little bit of information with you before we move on to this next thing, which I am excited about, and that is the Nerf Infinis. Detest uh, Michelle posted on Reddit a link to Amazon France that was the Nerf Infinis for 40 euros, a pre-purchase link at a, a price that was surprisingly lower than expected, 40 euros. That equates to a little bit under 50 US dollars currently, which is, I believe, far less than we anticipated. Uh, I think the MSRP was supposed to be around 70 US dollars, if I remember correctly, but that's, that's significantly less expensive. We don't know if this is... Uh, 100% going to go through or if things with refunds will happen. Some people in the in the uh, EU have pre-purchased and we will be waiting to hear from them. Now, the release date is set at the 10th of August, so it's still a little bit ways out, but that may be our potential street date. Who knows? Uh, I'm, I'm excited and very curious because this is a blaster that I think a lot of us are interested in. Now, we may not all be fans of the aesthetic or the ergonomics of it. I know I don't like the angled foregrip on the front, but still, this is a unique and interesting blaster with some new tech that could be a lot of fun to mess around with. That is... If we're seeing this on the 10th of August, we should also expect to see some of the other new releases for 2018 around the same time. And it's potentially information that we may want to start looking at shelves and for DPCI numbers and whatnot before that point, maybe a couple months before, because we do often every year see new blasters well before their street date. So this is all something to keep in mind uh, as we get closer to these summer months. It may be time to start hunting and we may see things sooner than expected. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I want to get my hands on one of these blasters, that's for sure. But we'll see how things pan out if it does expand overseas and we start seeing things on Amazon here in the US or if it is just something that popped up on Amazon France for some unknown reason. But regardless, it's interesting. Something else interesting, Vortex. We had some leaks a little while back. They looked like they may be Photoshop jobs. They may be legitimate. We now have confirmation that the Vortex leaks are official. Hasbro has made a press release statement uh, showcasing all of these blasters plus um, a dart pack, or not dart pack, a disc pack. So focused on darts, but discs 
for $10 for 20 discs. Not super cheap, obviously 50 cents a disc, but they are available as official Vortex discs, which is definitely nice. Now, the prices, hmm, prices for these blasters, they've gone up. I hate to say it, it's very disappointing, but I suppose to be expected, the Pyragon is now going to be $60. Hmm, that hurts. That hurts. The Praxis will be 35 and the Vigilon will be 25 the Vigilon at 25 is, I mean, at 20 bucks, I could maybe see it, so it's not the worst. The Praxis at 35 feels rough, and the Pyragon at 60 definitely feels rough. So we'll see how those sell. Uh, I'm not, not too optimistic at this point, unfortunately. I was very optimistic when I first saw the leaks, thinking, oh, you know, another Pyragon release at 40 bucks, that'd be great, that's a good price point. 60 bucks, that 50% 50, 50 increase, that's significant. That is a decent price hike that I don't know how well these are gonna sell, especially given their performance uh, as a specialty indoor type blaster. Everything now is kind of geared towards range and accuracy and all that, and the, the, the Vortex stuff is fun. It's a lot of fun, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a ton of fun to run at games, but if people are looking for that like long shot performance, uh, long range accuracy type stuff, this is not gonna be it. So we'll see how these sell. I'm, I'm very curious and a little bit, a little bit disappointed at the price points, but we'll see. Uh, important, these are all Target exclusives. So if you don't have a Target near you, you may wanna hop online, pick one up, have one shipped to you if you are looking for them. But that is that. We'll see if we get more Vortex in the future. If you're really, really desperate about Vortex, they've got you, but it's not going to be cheap. So fingers crossed they release some more interesting stuff for the Vortex line in the future. One more thing to talk about today, and that comes to us from Captain Slug. These are the Rival Caliburn files. He has made them publicly available on Thingiverse for everyone to use and alter and have fun with and just go buck wild like we have with the regular Caliburn. I am super excited about this because it's another Caliburn, it's a cool platform, and it's fun to see it being turned into all kinds of things. Now, Important to note is that Captain Slug is not currently able to sell these because he is on such a backlog for the standard Caliburn. He just can't add that in uh, currently, I believe. But since he has released the current iteration on Thingiverse, it is available for everybody for free to use uh, however they like. But uh, he says that there do still need to be some refinements and fine tuning. So these files may not work perfectly. I believe there are two separate uh, internal, one of the internal parts is a couple separate files that change performance, but one's easier than the other. So there's definitely some fine tuning and tinkering that needs to be done still, but these are available so you can make them and you can iterate with him if you have a printer and you wanna go through the process and see the changes. I just think these it's cool these are available. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to see a rival caliber and on the field uh, shooting rival rounds and shotgunning them because it does appear that you will be able to do the same thing you can on the, the standard caliber and is that's you know prime in three shots and uh, take them all at once so I'm I, I think the rival rounds are very much uh, suited to that shotgun type uh, blasting so I, I'm looking forward to seeing one on the field I certainly hope we will see one on the field around here in the near future but the links for that will be down below of course let me know if you're planning on printing one out now this week there's no single mod of the week uh a lot of people have been posting their jote entries for the reddit contest if you want to take a look at that the link will be down below below for that contest and the details of it but there have been a ton of cool and interesting builds posted and uh it's kind of all coming to a head as the contest has ended and I just wanted to share the link with all of you to go through and take a look at all these. There's some really cool stuff. There's a P90 build in there. Oh, it got me to do a double take. It is super cool looking. But um, I'm not going to feature any specific one today. Just a link to a bunch of them. So go check them out. There is a ton of cool work in there. A ton of awesome, awesome blasters. 
And I think it's really important that we take the time to go and look at all of the things that people are are uh, working on, whether they're new modders and new you know contest entries, or if they're old favorites in the community that we all know and love. Um, Share your thoughts on these things. Share your insight, your input on their threads. You know, people when they're first starting out or even when they've been doing this for a while, love to hear input, love to get your thoughts on things. You know, oftentimes someone can make a comment about something and you can make someone's day or you can share a little piece of, uh, advice or a thought that crossed your mind on it, maybe they didn't think about that and you just triggered a whole new chain of ideas for them to go and try and be excited about. So go take a look at all of these because there is, like I said, some super cool stuff in there and I love seeing these contests and all the cool creative things that people come up with because it's part of what drives this hobby to be as wonderful as it is. With that said, uh, we do not have a video of the week this week. My apologies for that. We will be back on it next week though. Uh, always appreciate your thoughts down below on whether uh, on what videos, what mods, and all of that you think should be mod of the week. Uh, I love looking at stuff and seeing all of your opinions. And if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can do so and get your name to slide across the bottom of the screen like we saw for the current patrons earlier. It is greatly appreciated and helps this channel do uh, even more going forward in the future. With that said... If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.